Hi there, welcome to this build of a 65 inch wingspan Great Plains Trainer 60. Now in the last video we were working on the wing saddles and getting those so they're a really nice fit to the underside of the wing. And we we're also doing that getting the incidence right which was just 130 second positive incidence. And as part of that we put in the front former here to hold the wings nice and tight into place and we got a really good fixing on that but what we haven't done so far is the fixing for the back here we're going to have a couple of wing bolt uh, wing bolts coming down into some timber in the fuselage and probably with some blind nuts to to hold them so we need to do that in this video and as Part of that as well, we're going to get this rear windscreen and front windscreen finished. Now there's quite a lot of balsa here that's going to come off and that's going to be shaped. I, I left plenty of balsa there so I could work on that because I wasn't sure how this was actually going to come together as I designed this kind of wing attachment point. Before I put the wing bolts in the back here, I need to finish off the the sheeting on the let me just the sheeting on the top of the wing and I also need to put on the cap strips and these dowels haven't been glued in place. So that is what I'm going to be doing in this video. Hopefully that's what we'll get done. But what I'll do now is I'll move the camera around and we'll have a look at this front where we're going to start and see what solution we're going to uh, we're going to have to make that lovely and streamlined and yet still strong and looking good. Right, well the solution that they have for this front here on the plans I don't particularly like and doesn't work for me. Mainly because in putting this cross former here which is a quarter inch birch ply it's I brought it up as high as I can really to give more strength over the top of these dowels to protect the wing from pulling out. If you remember the locking mechanism or attachment point on the plans was just two bolts coming down front and back or elastic bands whereas I've put in something that I think is a little bit more user friendly. Now on the plans it suggests quarter inch balsa coming up like that and just set in and then the sides profiled to that and this just curving over. Well, there's a bit of a step there that makes that impractical. And I don't like this wing screen being set in like this. I would much rather have it on top. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be using some slightly thinner balsa, so 316, 4.8 mil, and with a bit of an angle on, and I'm gonna set that in there like that. I'm then going to trim these side pieces down to match that profile. And then I'm going to be using some 116, 1.6 mil balsa to go over the whole lot there, like a windscreen. So we don't see these edges here. That's covered over like that. And of course that will be uh, set in like that. And that brings us a much lower profile on this uh, on this wing edge here and we can just put a slight camber on that and that will then fit quite nicely and give us a good sleek profile so i'll get on and do that now and once we've got this piece in what i will probably do is just take it out a little bit on the back to allow these pegs to be oops to be a little bit longer which i haven't glued in yet I, a couple of videos ago I was I'm and ironing whether I should glue these in and I'm quite glad I haven't. It's quite good having them to be able to move in and out and so I can get the length just as I want it quite easily without having to trim it off. Right, well, I thought it'd be useful to have a, a quick update of where I, I am. I've been doing bits and pieces all over. First was the windscreen and I've set in this piece of 316 balsa and sanded these, trimmed and sanded these sides of the fuselage down and and um, and also there was some kind of lugs coming up here. So that's all nice and smooth and as I said earlier I've set that in 
but I'm then going to put on this plate, this um, 116 plate over there to uh, to just finish that off so I'm not getting these uh, these sides. Although I am going to profile this around a little bit, not a huge amount and, and I'm not sure how much until I get round to doing it. it it'll be a, a, a bit of uh, trial and error, just see how it looks. Now as far as the wing, if I sit the wing on there, you'll see this will provide quite a nice finish to that. It, it once it's a bit wide, it's a bit long at the moment, it just needs trimming and then and then sanding. But that will come into quite a nice smooth finish there, quite a smooth aerofoil shape. And if I turn this round, there we can see that will that will fit fit in quite nicely. So I'm going to glue that at the end of the day when um, when I'm not going to do any more work because I'm going to do this probably with aliphatic resin and uh, and just leave it overnight. I'll probably just clamp it or maybe maybe weight it. Like I say it still needs trimming a little bit more. I'll probably put it on like that and then sand this to fit the wing. Now I've also been doing something to the back windscreen as well, so I'll just turn this round. So I've also been doing a, a similar job on the back of the fuselage here, and I've set in this piece of one quarter balsa, and just trimmed the sides, sanded the sides to fit. I haven't glued this yet, it's still just placed in there. And I'm going to be doing a fair bit of contouring, um, smoothing off the sides, rounding off the sides, to make this less like a fence post, which it, it, it still does look fairly like a fence post. Um, although everything I do like this makes it look more like an aeroplane, which is quite nice. But I'm going to be putting some triangular stock on the inside just to strengthen it, because as I, uh, as I profile those, round them off, it is going to weaken it a little bit. And this, once it's glued in, this will get uh, just sanded a little bit so it fits nicely. With regards to the, the back of the wings, I put on this piece, extended the aerofoil, and just to the start of the ailerons. Still needs smoothing off and finishing, but it's, it's there. And uh, when I put the wings in, plug the wings in, sit them on, it's really important to look at the underside and make sure that the wing is still I'm not showing this very well, but still sitting on the saddles properly. And to do that, I had to sand this down and keep checking it and sanding it down. So that's almost finished. I'm going to glue that in now and get that triangular stock in. And the next job I've been working on is the actual hold downs for the wings. And I'll just move the camera in to get a better shot for that. Right, well, in the back of the fuselage here for the bolts to come down through the trailing edge. I want to put in a, a shelf, a little bracket here and have some captive nuts so we just screw down through the wing into the captive nuts. And I've made myself a bracket out of quarter inch birch ply and some little side pieces which are just uh, locked in like that and uh, these side pieces are I think they're um, uh, 330 second I believe birch ply and so I've just cut those took them in like that and and by doing these sides I'm spreading the load right down the side of the fuselage but one of my fears in building my own planes is that they come apart in in mid-flight because they're not strong enough and so I want to make sure that these are nice and secure and by having those plywood plates that spread the load right down the fuselage here it will make a big big difference to the strength. Now I'm going to obviously put some triangular stock and this will be epoxied in. I'm not going to do it just yet I'll probably get the wing finished first. Now I've put this at a slight angle angling back like that and the reason being is because when the bolts come through the back of the wing, I want them to come through at a tangent square to this edge here. So I want them to come through and then hit the plate square on as well. So that plate there is designed 
Just move that around. It's designed to be parallel to the back edge of the wing. So it comes down straight. And there's no twisting once it gets hold of the threads to, to kind of pull it. It just pulls it down square. And I'll probably put a block of balsa in here, which is just about the same height as this. So the center of the wing pulls down onto that. But we'll, we'll have a look at that later. And then the next job is to glue in the dowels in the wing and get this sheeting finished. So I can then drill down and get those fixings for the back of the wing. So I'm going to get on and do that now and then we'll come back and see where we are with all that. Well I've been getting on quite well with this now and uh, I've got the whole of the top of the wing finished. You can see I've got the cap strips in and I've finished off this central area of sheeting. I've also uh, glued in the, the dowels for the wing to locate into the fuselage and I've just covered the, uh, the, the section there that's boxed. Now it all needs a really good sand and I have started sanding it a little bit but it's really windy outside which is why I'm not flying but too windy to be standing out there with a wing sanding it. I need to wait for it to, to drop just a little bit. And I'm now ready to actually drill down through the back of the wing and into the fuselage holding plate to, uh, to get those fastening bolts fitted. Now, the fuselage is really starting to come on now. Uh, I still have... <laughs> I still haven't put this on the windscreen, uh, this cover, like I said I was going to. I totally forgot, in all the excitement of building yesterday, I totally forgot last night to do that. So I'll probably do that at the end of the, uh, the day today. Got this glued in now and sanded. And um, just move the wing out the way. And I've also glued in the, uh, the plate. You can see there and I've put in a little bit of triangular stock at the, at the back and I've also been around and put triangular stock on the sides and, uh, and the underside there of that hold down plate and while I was at it I put in some, uh, some triangular stock just on the front here on this former that holds the, uh, holds the front of the wings up, down I mean it adds quite a lot of strength and um, it doesn't really add a great deal of weight. So to me, it's, it's a no-brainer to do. What, let's get that strength and, and make it so, uh, so it will last uh, maybe a bumpy landing or, or something like that. So let's make it more durable. Now, once I've drilled down, I'm going to put on the... Um, I'm going to put on the wings, I'm going to line them up and I'm going to make sure they're exactly where I want them and then I'm going to drill down with an electric drill through the back of the wing and down and into that plate. Now that plate that I've epoxied in there is 3mm plywood. So it's not going to hold the captive nuts very well. So I've got these, got these T nuts, captive nuts. And so what I'm going to do is, somewhere on my bench, I have a piece of balsa. Here it is. I have a, a small piece of balsa, which I'm going to glue on the underside of this plate, like that. And essentially that will sit there like that and it will give something for those captive nuts to bite into. So I'm not trying to pull the captive nuts into this plywood which isn't going to go very well. So that, uh, and, and once they're pulled into that bit of balsa, I think this is a quarter inch balsa, yeah. Once they're pulled into that balsa, I'm going to CA them in just to, to make sure. Now, for the hold down bolts, I'm using these um, the 4mm domed head uh, bolts with a, a hex drive. I like hex drive rather than screwdrivers because you don't slip quite as easily. It, it's more positive. 
and I'm using these domed head because it'll just look a lot more streamlined. Don't forget, this is sitting on the wing. It's not a, it's not under, on the underside, so it's going to be very, very visible. So I want something that's smooth, sleek, doesn't stand out. I've got some, um, I've got some of these plastic hold down bolts, but I don't know. They they they've got slots and they're quite big to to sit on top of the wing and I, I know you know the the uh, the thing about plastic nuts break steel don't if you if you have an accident but I, I would rather use these and, uh, and and just get everything nice and strong and have them oops have, have them sleek so that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to get on now and drill those holes get this wing fitted and then we'll come and have one final look before we draw this video to a close. Well, I now have the wings firmly attached to the fuselage and it feels really good at this stage now because it's really starting to come together. And I think what we've come up with is a good robust system that looks smooth and sleek at the front no elastic bands, no bolts coming through the, the lovely leading edge. And also at the back here, I mean at the back we've gone with a similar system to what was suggested on the plans, but I think it's a little bit more robust. And as you can see there, I've added in a piece of plywood around the bolts. And I did that after I'd done the sheeting, partially because I forgot, but also <laughs> partially because I wasn't sure at that stage where I was going to put those holes. And if you have a look at these pictures, you can see how I did that. I simply cut around the balsa, took it out with a scalpel, and then just set in that piece of, uh, I think it's about two and a half mil, something like that, plywood. And it still needs a good sand, but it's there in place. And if I turn the wing over, you can see those captive nuts, hopefully, if I come a little bit closer. You can see the captive nuts inside there, and they're well embedded in that piece of balsa. And I've also, just for a, a, an extra bit of security, I've added some CA to those captive nuts just to, to hold them in. So, I'm now going to bring this video to a, a close, and uh, it's a good point to... Uh, to end on really having got this nice and secure now in the next video I'm not totally sure what I'm going to be doing but we do need to get the wingtips finished you see there's no wingtips still haven't done the ailerons so I suspect that and also having a look at the um, elevator will probably be the focus of the next video so thanks for watching and I hope you'll come back and see how we get on in the development of this great planes trainer 16.